In this video, we're going to take a look at how layers behave. But before we do that, I forgot to mention two things in the last video when we were discussing the workspace, more specifically these panels over here. One is if you double click on any of the tabs, you can basically collapse that panel in this direction as opposed to this direction. And it's also just as easy to undock and redock a panel as it is those tabbed windows. Simply drag the panel, and you can see as soon as it gets near the dock, it's going to turn blue. If I want the adjustments panel to be first on the left here, just slide this over to the left like so. So you can basically customize the Photoshop workspace to any way that you want. So let's go up to File, down to Open, open up our Hello World PSD. And I'm just going to, for now, collapse this adjustment panel right here, simply by double clicking on the tab, just so we can look and have a better, clear view of our layers palette. So notice we have three different layers. We have our text layer, it says Hello World. And you can see that we can edit this text because we have this sort of this white thumbnail with a black T in the center of it. We have got our image layer, which is simply called layer one at this point, and our white background layer. At this point, we can take the move tool, which is this first tool in the toolbar here, could select any of these layers, move them around, if you don't want to move them around, if you don't like your last edit, you can simply go up to go up to edit, down to undo. That's basically going to undo your last step. Also, you can press Control Z or Command Z on a Mac, which is something that you should probably, it's a keyboard shortcut that you should probably learn right off the bat, as you'll probably use that more than any other. It's basically the undo keyboard shortcut. Now, one thing to point out, notice this locked background layer. If I were to take the Move tool, try to move it, I'm going to get this error that says, could not, your, could not complete your request because the layer is locked. So if you want to actually move or modify in certain ways the background layer, you first have to make it editable. To do that, simply double-click the layer, and Photoshop automatically sort of defaults to a layer zero name you can just click OK. Notice that it is now a, an unlocked layer. And if you take the Move tool and move it, you can see that we can move this big white panel all around. This checkerboard underneath is Photoshop's way of displaying transparency. So I'm once again going under Edit and Undo Move. Only instead of that, I'm going to press the keyboard shortcut, Control or Command Z, to undo that last step. So basically our layers panel is how, we how we're going to organize our compositions. So there are lots and lots of things that we can do with our layers panel. We can move a layer up. So we'll take this middle layer here and drag it above our hello world layer. Now you can see if we were to take the move tool and position this image that's on layer one, since it's above the Hello World text in the Layers palette, it's basically on top of it inside our document here. We can link these two layers by selecting the first layer. So I've got Layer 1 selected. I'm going to press and hold Shift as I click the Hello World type layer. And that's going to select both layers at the same time. You can see both layers are now highlighted in blue. Down here at the bottom of the Layers palette, you'll see this little chain link. And as we click that, we can link these layers. So now when we move one, say I just have the layer one selected. Since it's linked with the text layer, the text is going to move with it. To unlink it, you could simply, all you need to do is simply select one of the linked layers and click the chain link once again. You can see the chain disappears over here in the Layers palette. So when I'll select them and I'll link them, you can see that 
There's a little chain link suggesting that both of these layers are linked, and when you unlink them, the chain goes away. Say we wanted to duplicate our image layer. So I've got layer one selected. You can drag, click, and drag the layer all the way down here to this little icon just to the left of this trash can. It is the new layer icon. As we drag it to the new layer icon, we have now have a layer one copy, which we can also delete just as easily by dragging this layer one copy to the trash can. So anytime you want to delete something, you can either click the trash can as long as this, the layer is selected. It'll actually bring up a menu if you do it that way, or a dialogue asking you if that is what you want to do, or you can simply drag it to the trash. If you have several different layers, and you would like to select multiple layers. As I said earlier, if, you, if I wanted to select all of these, I could press and hold Shift with my layer 1 selected, select layer 0, and that's going to select all the layers in between. I can click anywhere outside this layer panel to basically unselect any of the layers. But say I just wanted to select layer 1 and 0, so I'll select layer 1, hold control, that's command on a Mac, and I can select just layer 1 and layer 0. Another extremely useful feature of layers is the ability to group them. So once you start getting into PSDs that have lots and lots of layers, you'll want to free up some clutter over here in the layers palette. To do that, we can group these layers. So I've selected the Hello Type World layer. I'm going to press and hold Shift, select Layer 1, and now I want to group these layers. So I go under Layer at the top, then down to Group Layers. You can see it now sort of puts it in into a folder, which you can collapse, or expand, I should say, and it will show you our Layer 1 and Hello World layers. If you wanted to ungroup the layers, Simply select the group, go back to layer, choose ungroup layers. And most of these features are also down here at the bottom. For example, the new layer icon, if you click that, it's going to give us a blank new layer. I'm just going to drag that one to the trash. Next to that is the new group icon. So if we click the create group icon, it's going to give us an empty folder. That way, you can drag the layers that you want inside the group into that folder. Now you can see if I collapse the folder, those two layers are now inside of group one. So I'm just going to ungroup those. And as you're working, it might be a cool effect that you want to basically make one of these images transparent or semi-transparent. So to do that, you go up here to the opacity setting in the layers. So I have layer one selected. I go to opacity. I can lower the opacity. So now I've lowered it to 50%. So I have this sort of semi-transparent layer here. You can lower or increase it back to 100%. And the last thing we'll look at, eventually you're going to want to flatten an image, especially if it's say going to go to the client or to the lab. Generally, you're not going to give your lab or your client a layered file. The layered file is for you so that you can go back and edit and make any changes. What you're going to give to the lab or the client is a flattened file. So to do that, over here in the right of the layers panel, you'll see this, these like little lines and this arrow, and that basically brings up the options. And unfortunately, mine sort of go off the screen here, but at the very bottom, you'll see several merge options, and one of them says flatten image you possibly might be able to see just the F and the L currently inside this video window. But if you select flatten image, that's going to get rid of all the layers, and then we can save this as JPEG. But we'll look at some of that in the next few videos. So I'm just going to Control command z to undo that real quick, and that's just going to wrap it up for this video.